happy Friday. Listen, I gotta do a couple of announcements before we get into it. First, yes, we are in fact on our way to a vet appointment. Actually, it's two vet appointments back to back. We got Sophie LaRue and we got Poe in tow. We're on our way to the vet. The other announcement is that sound you hear is the double strachea. So our little Mr. Mister's cough has gotten so bad that nobody is sleeping. So Sophia has a follow up with this vet at a different clinic. And I called and I was like, hey listen, we're actually coming to see you. Do you think that there's any way that you could see our little guy too? The coughing you hear is the thuppa. We're on our way to another vet appointment. Y'all, um, we got a king size bed and it arrives tomorrow, rather. The mattress arrives today, the bed arrived yesterday, and the box springs arrives, the box springs? The box spring arrives tomorrow. So by the end of the day tomorrow, January 31st, we're gonna be sleeping in a king size bed. So funny. We went to Nebraska Furniture Mart, we looked online, we browsed and browsed. Y'all, I found the most gorgeous linen tufted bed for $200. I even tried to find it on Amazon. I was like, maybe it's cheaper on Amazon. You guys, it was $40 more expensive on Amazon. Is that gonna drive you guys crazy? Imagine living with that for the last 72 hours. <laughs> I told Parker, I was like, I can almost guarantee that I am suffering some kind of PTSD because of the life that I live. You know, like, I basically, live in my prison, I poop in my prison, I eat in my prison, I work in my prison. Like, I never leave the house unless I'm going to serve someone. Like, I never leave the house unless I'm doing something for someone. I know, I know, me and Parker go out or whatever. But I'm just trying to be dramatic right now and I just need a little sympathy. So, yeah. His cough hasn't stopped for more than like two minutes at a time in the last, <coughs> three or four days. It's been, it's, it's been crazy. Anyway, but yeah, we're gonna have a new bed this weekend. I'm super excited. I don't know what we're gonna do with Parker's old bed. So I'll show you guys um, that maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, what's the other thing I was gonna tell you? Friday, new bed, nothing exciting. No, I think that's it. So that's the update. You see that cushion back there? It's an extra one. We have to return it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And I don't know how to do that because I ordered it online and I paid with PayPal. Like, do they refund you on your PayPal? Do you guys have like secret wife money? I guess you probably have it maybe like on Venmo because y'all are young kids and, and you know how to use all the young apps and stuff. But um, I love to use PayPal and I have like, I don't know, stupid amount of money sitting there. Like, It's nothing that would change anybody's life. But I'm like, oh. Okay, sure, I'll use my PayPal to buy these rainbow snake print booties that are gonna arrive on Monday. Like, how do you explain that to your husband? You know what I mean? Like, I don't need another pair of shoes. I really don't. And this is a candid moment between the two of us, okay? So I don't need you guys, I don't need you guys criticizing me. I just need you guys support right now and your hell yeah me too, rah rah, cheer, okay? I don't need rainbow snake print booties. I don't. But I wanted them. So I waited until DSW had a coupon and I had a reward from like what's your what's your yearly reward? Do you want a backpack or ten dollars off? And then I had another reward. Okay, long story short, these were hundred dollar boots. I got them for fifty five dollars. I'm very proud of myself. Now I'm just hoping they'll fit. However, I'm not gonna I'm not how can I explain that to Parker? You know, Parker's like type A, he's super vanilla. He's like, how often are you gonna use rainbow snake print boots? Listen, I'm probably gonna use them once a year, maybe. Um, but that's okay because it was a, it was a smart purchase. No, it was it was a <laughs> It was a, I got a good deal. That's what I'm trying to get at. I got a, I got a good deal. Y'all are seeing my beads swinging around, aren't you? Look at that. 
Look at that, you see my little beads? Y'all, these smell like Moroccan sunset, so I could literally take my favorite good candle scent on the road with me while I'm someone <laughs> running errands for everyone else. <laughs> Topol, I'm talking to you right now. The aggression you hear in my voice is for you. So I haven't slept in three days maybe two hours at a time. I haven't slept because of the coughing. I have bad news for you guys. If you aren't in the stage of your life where you would like to procreate or you've had the blessing to bring a newborn home, once you do, there's a switch in your brain that turns on that instantly makes you a light sleeper. So from the minute that I found out that I was bearing Mateo, I became a light sleeper. So now, like the neighbor's cat can fart and I'll wake up. And so if everyone else in the house has heard the double cough at night, could you imagine the horror it's been for me? <laughs> so for the last three days I haven't slept. And if I'm cold, hungry, or tired, I am like a full on toddler with a rage fit. The other day, this like, reels was recommended to me and it was like you're not really upset unless you're rage sighing and I was like dear baby Jesus there is finally a name for the thing that I do the most when I'm upset it's it's just it's cathartic you know it's like passive aggressive cathartic -cism. I know that's not a word but you know what I'm trying to say like it's it's the best way to just let out that like oh so you're like cleaning and you're like You squeeze out the water in the sponge that was left at the bottom of the sink. <sighs> or like they leave a cabinet open. <sighs> you take out a bowl and the bowl's dirty and you're like <sighs> Like that, that's what I'm talking about. Like it was so nice to put a name to the thing that I do very often. Hey, it sounds like you're rage sighing right now. Look at that. Why are you looking at me with those beautiful, beautiful big Big googly eyes that haven't let mama sleep in two days, huh? You wanna say hi to your friends? Yeah, yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do, because I bet you think you're out for fun. I bet you think you're out here like Dora the Explorer going out on a fun mommy date. No, we're not. We're not doing anything fun right now. Holy overbooking. We're gonna be here for a long time. Oh, sweet Moses. There's like 92 cars in the parking lot. Holy crap. I hope there wasn't a ton of emergencies. That would make me sad. Let's see how good of a job I did parking. Uh, I could have done a better job, but that's okay. It'll work. Hey, you know what? Parker called it. He's like, hey, the minute you get to the vet, he's gonna stop coughing. Sure enough, look at him. Oh, all right. All right, we're doing it. Look at you guys. Isn't that pretty? It's what I was telling you. It's the Moroccan sunset. The bead pattern on this is a little bit different than if you get the other scents that have like the bigger balls and like the tassels at the bottom. It's so pretty. I, I can't even describe to you the way it smells. I was talking to my friend April. April Athena 7, shout out. She bought a few of these for her house, the candle and some of the melts. And she's like, dude, you weren't even kidding. I'm like, yeah, I can't describe it. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's pretty, but it's also a little fresh and masculine. It's just, it's such a gorgeous scent. It goes with everything in every room of the house. But I just can't believe there's a car freshener now. This is really exciting. Plus it's cute. It's very modern. Very like, I don't know, all those home decor accounts I follow now, like they just put beads on everything. I wouldn't do that, but I would put them in my car if they smell like Moroccan sunset, y'all. Who's ready for the doctor? You ready for this? Can you start coughing or something at least? At the very least, can you start coughing? You little Guys, it's 3.30. We are still at the vet, uh, waiting for some results. Um, this vlog, I guess, is sort of like a diary for me. That's my best friend, Sam. I guess it's a way to like, I don't know, keep a journal. Maybe eventually we'll look back and be like, oh, do you remember when Dopo, you know, whatever. I find a lot of comfort in vlogging, especially recently. I think it's cathartic to talk about stuff, but I think it's also a very good distraction for me when stuff isn't so glittery and shiny and bubbly. And so right now I'm like mildly panicking, like Parker's at the gym, like always. And uh, I'm like, I have no one to talk to. So I'm gonna text Sam. I text Parker to kind of keep him up to date, but 
he's doing his thing and um you know you know what i think is bullshit but let's talk about it if you are the partner in the relationship that works from home or maybe the homemaker or the stay-at-home mom or dad and then you have a partner that leaves the house for work there's a vast difference in the dynamic of of what you do during the day right and that obviously I'm biased because my role is at home but being able to just walk out the door and like forget about everything and just be out of the house I miss being able to do that and so Parker does that and on top of that he leaves work and he still goes to the gym so he has that outlet but I'm like always home and there are some times when I'm super stressed like right now when the double hasn't stopped coughing for the last three or four days I need to leave you know like I need to leave but what do I where do I go what do I do what do I do for myself where it's not for anyone else it's not running an errand for anyone else it's not like here I'll take care of the boys while you go shower it's like that's not that's not a mental health break for me that's just hygiene <laughs> Everyone deserves a break for hygiene, right? And so it's like, man, I really need to find something that gets me out of the house safely, obviously. On days like today where I'm like stressed out, I'm like extra salty that Parker like gets to go to work and he's gone and he gets to go to the gym and he gets to leave it all behind. And I'm not, like, I like to be home. I think it's a privilege and I like to be able to take care of my dog. I like to be there for them. Like, could you imagine if Wesley had these issues with his eyes and I can't have like seven alarms on my phone and, and administer these drops pr appropriately because I have to leave for work? Like, I know I'm blessed. I know I'm so lucky. But it's just in these moments where I want to grab the camera and like reach out to my pandas and be like, right? <laughs> I guess all I'm doing right now is a very obnoxious best on the internet. And again, I'm just looking for your support. You know, like this is not one of those situations where it's like, well, some people have it worse, Danny. Like I know, Susan, I know. I'm just, I'm just having a weak moment. I'm having a moment of weakness where it only makes me feel better to complain. And I think the reason that I'm being so negative besides the fact that I haven't slept in three days is the fact that the vet called me and said he suspects there is fluid in the double's lungs, which means his heart murmur has advanced. Um, it's not a good thing. So he asked if I wanted to do an x-ray and I'm like, first of all, Wesley's taken all my money, but I'm sure I could scrounge a few bucks to do an x-ray. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Like, I don't know how to describe the relationship I have with that stinky little pet, you know, like the double is the most obnoxious, loud, irritable, angry, like PTSD causing yippy yappy, aggressive dog. But I would give him my kidneys, <laughs> both. He's probably the size of my kidneys. <laughs> You know, man, I'd jump in front of a bus to save that dog. He's my last little bit of home. He's my last little bit of California. He's the last little bit of, of what I have left pre-either marriage, pre-kids, pre-YouTube, pre-anything. And he's just so special to me. You know, he's he's been on my ride of life. And I just hope he's okay. Man, I hope there's no fluid in his lungs. I know it's not a big deal. They'll just give him a diuretic and then he'll be thirsty all the time and he'll pee, be peeing all over the house and that's okay. Y'all, senior pets are the worst. They break your heart every, every vet visit. It's totally worth it though. <laughs> it's so gratifying and it feels so good to be able to take care of them and they thank you and they're so appreciative. They give us way more than we do for them, you know? And I just hope he's okay. And I probably just talked about Parker because I'm scared that something's wrong with Dopo. <laughs> that is part of being in a marriage, okay? Sometimes you gotta be the scapegoat. Sometimes you gotta be the punching bag. <sighs> Today's the day, Parker. Anyway, Parker's like, do you want me to take care of dinner? I'm like, yes, I want you to take care of dinner. 
I do frosted pork chops, but I don't know if I'm in the mental headspace where I want to crush saltine crackers right now. <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. Man, such a yucky feeling, let me tell you. Such a yucky feeling. Waiting. Y'all, he told me I had to wait for 10 minutes. This is like the longest 10 minutes of my life. All right, you guys. You're just gonna have to deal with my smack in my gum like a horse. It helps to with stress control. It doesn't really. It just gives me something to do. <laughs> It gives my ADD something to concentrate on while I stress out regardless. Oh, if my bestie was here, I would say, or irregardless. That's like one of our like rich pet peeves is when people say irregardless. Can you believe they added that to the dictionary? Irregardless. Clearly, if you're new around here and you don't know me, I use jokes and passive aggressive aggression to, um, cope with stress like right now I don't know where I'm going I'm a little distracted it's a gum chewing I'm telling you I can only do one thing at once and not for very long <laughs> so the double has pulmonary edema there's not much we can do about the cough the vet was like have you noticed he turns purple and I was like I'm sorry what yeah have you noticed that when he's very stressed out or he's very like triggered or excited, he starts to turn purple. Doesn't seem to be in any pain. He doesn't seem to be in any like outright discomfort aside from the fact that his heart is enlarged. It's pushing on his trachea and he has some fluid in his lungs. How do you say that? You say it so like nonchalantly. You know, I guess I guess when you're a medical professional and you give bad news, good news too, but you have to give good news. I mean, it's part of the job, right? Like it's just part of the job. It's it's just part of what you have to do. But man, it sucks. It feels so yucky. So he's like, I know it all sounds terrible, but it's really not that bad. It's just part of having congestive heart failure. It's part of the process and I'm like so I guess it's just another chapter in having a senior pet with congestive heart failure it's just the the process so we got some meds some for the fluid like a diuretic and then others for coughing just for comfort. They're not really gonna do much. We were giving him hydro, like hydrocodone, but it's, you know, a very heavy narcotic. And I didn't know that if a vet keeps giving it to us, like they can get flagged. I, he was telling me that. I was like, wow, that's so interesting. No wonder they just give small amounts so that it doesn't send up, you know, flags about it being prescribed over and over. But it's a control, like a full on heavy controlled substance. I don't know you guys, I'm sad. I'm like, I'm sad, but like, realistic sad? Is that even a thing? If I, if I went back to school to become a therapist, I would coin that realistic sad. Like, I'm sad, but this is part of my reality. You know, the dub was getting older, he has heart failure, and it's just part of the process. So I'm like, sad, but I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm allowed to be sad. With the Wesley thing, it was very frustrating because I was like, this shouldn't have happened, I'm so angry, you know? But with the dope one, like, it's, it's part of the process, so it's totally fine that I'm sad. It's valid. He's just so little, you know? It's frustrating because I get very, 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 very frustrated and annoyed with not being able to sleep because he's coughing all night. It's like when you have a newborn and the newborn has to feed every two hours, except it doesn't stop. <laughs> oh, if you ever had a, like a really poor sleeper, man, Mateo, you guys, Mateo would not go to sleep unless his father was holding him. He wouldn't sleep. Unless his dad had him wrapped up in his arms, that child would not go to sleep. So we had a really cute recliner, and for the first 
10 months of Mateo's life, his dad had to hold him in the recliner to go to sleep. It's funny because he would take his naps anywhere and he would totally nap in his crib and he'd nap in his playpen. But when it came to going to bed at night, he would only sleep if he was in his dad's arms. Not my arms, my arms didn't count. I guess he didn't like the bony noodle arms, you know? But he would sleep in his dad's arms. So if you've had a difficult newborn, I'm going through that again with the Dubbo. <laughs> I have a different, I have a difficult senior. <laughs> He's so darn cute though. I just make, I just told the vet, I'm like, is there anything else we can do? He's like, no, we are doing everything we could possibly do to make him comfortable. We're doing everything we could possibly do. I'm like, that's all I needed to know. I wanna make sure we've checked everything, we've done everything, we've prescribed everything. Like, is this all we can do for how he is in this moment in time? And he said, yes. And I was like, okay, cool. Then I feel great. I feel great about it. I feel satisfied with that answer. And we're going to try these medications he was given and hopefully he'll feel better. But right now, I have to return a $30 pillow. So I'll be right back. Hey you guys, good morning. It's seven o'clock. Why am I so puffy this morning? I swear I have more pajamas. You know what I do is I do laundry and I have like this method where I do laundry, I take it out of the dryer, I hang it or I fold it and leave it in the laundry room. Then I move it to my room and then it takes me a while to actually put it in the drawers. And when it's just sitting there, I'm like, I'll just put this on again <laughs> to be efficient. So, um, man, the coughing again. I was editing the vlog last, last week and I was like, I wonder if my pandas think I have one coat and like two pajamas. <laughs> At least you guys can twin with me, it's still available. <laughs> it took me a while yesterday after the vet to just kind of shake it off. I told you guys the boys. He's not my firstborn. Pee Wee was my firstborn Chihuahua, but I mean, he's been around forever. I got him when I was 21. What do you know when you're 21, you know? He was there through a lot. It's just, it's just gonna be a part of, of our life now after talking to the vet. That's just kind of what we have to deal with. We're doing everything we can. The medication he was given calmed him pretty good. I don't know if it was just a fluke last night, but he slept very well. He, I only heard him cough once. Hopefully the medication worked. I, I have to get outside of my own feelings and how annoying his cough is and think about is the medication actually giving him relief. I don't wanna give a medication to give us relief. It's more to give him relief, you know? And so you have to keep reminding yourself like, is it actually working? Because if it's not, he doesn't need to be on meds. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool day. Uh, the weather is horrendous. It's like windy, but windy where like all the mulch, like the little wood chips that you have in planters, like they're everywhere. Everywhere, the cushions from the outdoor furniture in the pool, like it's super windy. At noon, we have to go to our nephew's birthday party. It's gonna be a really, really, really small, very, very short get together. And most of their family's out of town, so we're just gonna go like rally for him. Our box spring arrives today, which is the last thing we need to make our bigger bed. I mean, besides actually moving out the other bed. But let me show you guys the bed we bought. It's in the hallway over here. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Look at the color. It's like an oatmeal. It has a little bit of a... Are you upset? Is it because you finished your breakfast already? You did? So you get to, you should get to come out now, huh? Look at what I bought the Tupo. This is the coolest little invention ever. It's a... All right. You want to give us the tour? So I was on Amazon the other night at like 3.30 when I couldn't sleep because he was coughing so loud. And they had a pet sale. Hello. Oh! They had a pet sale. And one of the items was this. Let me show you. Oh, he's giving us a, he's modeling it for us. It came with this little mat and it's a self-warming mat. So it has a layer of coughs apparently. It's just, it's super lightweight. It's very thin. I didn't think it was gonna work, but I actually sat on it. <laughs> 
to test it out. It's machine washable. It was only $7. And so what it does is it has a layer of those like, do you know those rescue blankets? When you get rescued after like a car accident or drowning or whatever, those like foil, they look gold or metallic. And the way they work is they reflect your own body heat. So there's a layer of that in here and it's washable. I thought it was worth a shot. I don't want to electric blanket the double yet because I feel like it wouldn't incentivize him to move around and still be mobile as an old dog. And it's a really big problem. As they get older, they don't want to move. All they do is sleep. But if you give them like an electric blanket, aside from like dogs that have arthritis, if you give them an electric blanket, they start to degrade in age super quickly. And I don't want to do that. So I thought this would be a nice little alternative. And then this little crate cover, I told you guys I cover my dogs at night like parrots and this crate cover is cool because it protects it on all sides and if the crate opens on either side it has little windows. So you roll up the front, it was cold last night so I gave them extra covers. It opens, it rolls up here on the side too and then it has a little window in the back. This is the extra small so if you have a crate like, or actually small, I don't know, I'll link it for you guys. If you have a crate like the size of the double, that's the perfect size. So I thought it was really cool, but that wasn't what I was showing you. Look at these two. You know you can't wrestle right now. You're sick. So this is the bed. I was a little nervous because anytime you order anything beige, it could be brown, it could be yellow, it could be buttercream, but it has a little bit of a gray shift and I think it'll be real nice against our navy blue wall. You know what that means. Wesley, come here, buddy. Wesley, where are you? Wesley. Bumper, well, I keep calling you and you don't listen. I gotta give you your drop. Ready? There we go. Oh, look, who stopped coughing? What a coincidence. Hi, May. How come you haven't finished your breakfast? You gotta eat your food, man. You gotta eat your food, man. Look what we got here. Who's excited to open this? Like, Parker needed my help to bring it in yesterday. It was very shocking, because it looks like a small box. I mean, look at Sophia next to it. You're like, oh, it's no big deal. It's just a mattress, whatever. It is so heavy, so God knows when we open this later how big it actually is, or thick, or heavy, or dense, but it is filthy. I've had such a bad experience with the shipping of Casper products not the items themselves, but the way they come packaged. Like they'll send you a box this big and it has like a pillowcase in it. And it's all crushed, it's completely broken. Like the box is completely open, but it arrives somehow by a miracle. So it's very, it's very bizarre. And then this box, Parker was like, hey, can you help me carry it? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll carry it, I'll help. It's disgusting. So who knows if it's Casper's warehouse or if it's um, UPS. But we get packages from UPS every day. Oh my God, this is heavy. And they're fine. So I think it might have to do something with the back end or with Casper. So it's gonna be a day, y'all. We gotta get rid of this. And then we gotta bring the other one in here. And then we gotta build it. And then we gotta build the box ring. And then we gotta unfold this. I should probably stop talking, huh? <laughs> it's real early. I'm still in the middle of medicating the dogs, which is the alarm you heard. I woke up at 3 a.m. with the most pounding headache. Meanwhile, Parker's in the middle of the bed. <laughs> there was a lot of rage sighing happening last night, but the good thing is I got up, I took some ibuprofen and it actually worked. So it's not a migraine, yay. Um, but I'm just gonna be prepared because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it again later today. That's just, that's just how my headaches happen. They happen in threes, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
dyed my hair like a decent human being. Oh wow, I'm, get, I'm having a good hair day today. I may not cut it, just kidding. All right, so this whole morning has been dictated and mandated by the state of our bed. One, the bed is freaking awesome. Two, I got like 17 splinters. It's a beautiful bed. However, Amazon, it's taking its sweet time delivering our box spring and the mattress needs 24 hours to fully inflate. We're sleeping on it tonight regardless, but since we're gonna be gone, we don't wanna leave it in the plastic. So what Parker and I are gonna do, Parker? Parker? So what Parker and I are gonna do is um, open it up and just kinda leave it overhanging on the frame so that it has a chance to expand while we're gone and we're not wasting any time. So let me show you guys how it looks. These are my little special nuggets down here. It's a really pretty bed, but you could see there's only three slats and the frame, so we really need that box spring. And the footboard is one piece as opposed to the sides that are split in two, so it's a little sturdier than we thought, which is great. And look how pretty it is. Isn't that gorgeous? We're totally in love with it, and it's super high which we were nervous about too. All the beds now that you order are very low platform beds. This one's massive, just like our mattress. Look at that, huge mattress. So we're gonna kinda just bring this over and then take off the plastic and it's slowly gonna go pssst. This is the Casper Hybrid mattress. So it has springs and foam, it's a, it's a combo. This is not sponsored. We paid full price for all of it, but let's see. Oh, I'm nervous. Are you nervous, Parker? No, I'm All right. So, or... I'll, I'll pull since it's so heavy. You get down with that end. Okay. I'll pull it on. <laughs> Whoa, did you just shove me? I didn't touch you. Did you just shove me? I didn't know. All right. Do it with my mustache scissors. Oh, listen. <laughs> we come back and the mattress is like Bleh. Something went wrong. Uh, did you get the Super California Max Duty King? It's inflating really fast. I wonder if the block's capturing the fastness. We're gonna get home and Mars is gonna be lounging. And be like, nap time! Nap time, nap time. Are these bad scissors or what? You want to pull out the plastic or do you just leave it? It's really just protected, huh? Uh-huh. It's pretty! Oh, Parker, touch it! Oh, Parker, touch it! Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's so soft. <laughs> that sounded like we're not doing, like we're not expanding patches right now. Parker, touch it. <laughs> Look at Wesley, he's looking at me in shame. He's like, you're disgusting. All right, you guys, look how pretty it is. Do you see that little pattern it has? The Casper that I bought uh, five or six years ago is the original Casper mattress. This is the hybrid. The top is super soft. Watch, you guys, look at this. It's like firm but foamy. Oh, it's luscious. Let's see. I think there has a like, little logo situation happening. Where is it? Right there. It's the Casper Original Hybrid. That's what this little H here is, but look at that. Oof. It's really heavy though. I mean, Parker, how heavy is it? It's every bit of 120 pounds. He yeah. couldn't do it by himself and he's really strong. It's like ungainly. Yeah. Oh, this is so exciting and it expanded really fast. Wow, it's pretty. We're gonna do a mattress topper because we always do a mattress topper, but I don't think you need one with this bed. I forget what it's called. I'll write it here on the screen. It has a special name. I think it's a box, box, box something. It's, it's a specific type of mattress topper that's fluffy. I don't think this one needs one. So if you got a mattress like this, you wouldn't need a topper. We're gonna do a topper because I'm lazy and I already took it out and I already opened the vacuum saver bags. <laughs> but you don't need one, right Popo? 
Anyway, you guys, that's it. That's the update. That's the bed update. That's the bed update. And that's the bed update. We have to administer some drops and then we're gonna go to a five-year-old's birthday party. And that's it. That's all I got for you. Now I gotta go do meds, see? <laughs> hey, you guys, it's about four o'clock. We just got home. We eat a cheeseburger. Y'all, kids' birthday parties are like speed parties. We got there, it was like, you guys wanna eat? Cause everyone already ate. Hey, you want a cake? And we're like, yeah, yeah, okay, let's speed through the process. And then we were driving home and I was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Does that happen to you guys? Where you're like at a kid's party, but you're too busy doing the whole like parent socializing and then all of a sudden before you know it, it's over and then you're still hungry. So we stopped by and got some burgers. But the good news is that our um, box spring was waiting for us at the door. And if you guys have never ordered a box spring online, it's actually kind of sensible to do. It's what I had in my queen bed at my other house. And it's super easy to build. You do like the frame and then it comes with the sleeve that you slip on. Like how many times do you actually look at your box spring? It's not ugly, it's not an eyesore. And it's actually made of metal versus wood, which is typically what you get when you buy it with like a furniture store. So I have my, um, what is it called when you live in an apartment building and then the man that fixes everything? Super. My super, I have my super making it right now. You guys see him in the background? He's very good looking. Do you guys see? My super? One of his requirements to be the super of this house. <laughs> Look at Wesley! He's like, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing, guys? You help Bogan. Lots of pieces there, huh? Are you getting nervous? Lots are you getting pieces. nervous? I promise it's easy. Lots of pieces. Come on. What kind of alpha? Special Ops, 10 years. Wait, you have to say 22 years, right? 22, yes. 22 years. It's 1998. Oh, I was in eighth grade. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Look at this, mister. Hey, bumpers. Bumpers. Oh, my bumpers. Oh, my bumpers. My bumpers. Yes, I'm wearing the same jeans I was wearing last week. Don't judge me. Hello. Hi, bumpers. I miss you, bumpers. I miss my bumpers. Yes, I did. Oh, you're so good looking. I guess I'll help you. All right, we're doing this. See where the camera is? Feel free to show your what you want. Not a piece of meat. Later. Just kidding. It took us what 15 minutes, maybe? Yeah, maybe 15 minutes. So this is what a DIY or rather order to your house box spring looks like It's pretty sturdy. It has a cool little cover the one I ordered Maybe five or six years ago had a zipper. So it was like an envelope that enclosed it like This sheet. one is like a fitted sheet So it has the edges that go over the corner and then this tucks under the actual box spring <laughs> Can you show us how you put it on? <laughs> Done. Done. So the white part will go around the edges and then the elastic will tuck under the box spring. I hope it fits taut. Do you think it'll fit taut? I don't know, I just like that word. Taut. Taut. Instant box spring. Just add muscles. Get plenty of that. Oh. <laughs> oh stupid. All right. Ready? Here. Here? 
careful. You're going to trip, man. You are terrible. <laughs> oh, I know. You just want Cute, right? We still have some adjustments to do. A little tweaking here and there. I'm not quite happy with how long the duvet is. You guys know we love Supima cotton sheets, so they're always wrinkly, and I'm done ironing them. <laughs> I went to the extreme where I would just iron the edge. I'm like, nah, don't nobody care, okay? So yeah, I basically kept the two cushions we already had, and then I just ordered an extra. And then I'm a side sleeper, so I have a side sleeping pillow, and then I have a huggy pillow. So those are mine, and then Parker's, and these I just figured it's a king size bed. You need king size pillows, but I don't know. They're cute, right? I don't, what do you think? I like it. No, it's great. Sophia, what do you think? It's big. It looks like so much bigger than the last one. Put Sophia on it. See how big she looks. You try it. You try it. You jump. Don't launch her. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? Oh, is it nice? She does look tiny. Oh, look, corner of the bed. It's like, what am I going to do with all this space? So, again, let me repeat kind of what we have going on here. The headboard, or rather the bed frame, is from Ashley Furniture. They also have it on Amazon. It's a little bit more expensive on Amazon, but it was, I think, $250. Less than 300 for sure. And then the three blue cushions you see back there, the sleeves are the outside, the covers are from Amazon, the inserts are from Bed Bath & Beyond. The brand was, was Muda, was Samuda, something like that, I'll link them, is the best kind for these because they're soft, but they're really great to lean on. And then the two king pillows, 
The smaller pillows in the back are from Casper. I like those because they're a down alternative, but they're a pillow within a pillow. So if you unzip it, there's another pillow inside. So they never get flat. Like most pillows, they just eventually collapse. These don't because there's a pillow within a pillow. So you take them apart and you wash them and then they get fluffy again. And then our duvet cover, and this is a set from Ikea, so it comes with the covers, and the duvet cover are from Ikea. And then the fluffy snow deliciousness you see here is from Ugg, and we got that at Bed Bath & Beyond, which you cannot use a coupon for, which is totally lame. Sophia is not for sale. And then what was the other thing I was gonna tell you? The sheets. These blue sheets, they're crisp. So they're sheets that are meant to stay cool, they're crisp, um, Supima cotton, and these are from Target. I think that's it. Yeah? Did I cover all, the, all my bases? Mm -hmm. I think I did. The bed looks so pretty. It's like the same color as the lamps. Did you talk about the box spring? It's like we planned it. Yeah, the box spring. The box spring is nice, but I didn't like the new composition of the cover. So the cover isn't a zip around, which I didn't like, because if you have... <laughs> Hi. If you have a dense mattress, like a mattress in a box, like Lull, Casper, Purple, um, where it falls really heavy and it's impossible to adjust without moving the bottom around, it moves the cover out of place. But otherwise, I'm kind of loving it and I'm kind of excited to go to bed. Yes, I am. Oh, and the last thing I want to tell you guys is, do you like my Jojo Siwa ponytail? I know you're probably wondering where I got this amazing giant scrunchie from. Look at this. Always. It's never too far away. My good candles are never too far away. Oh, do you want to put the car diffuser in your car? Yes, I do. All right, well, let's go do that. Come on, bumpers. Come on, bumpers. What are you doing my car, sir? Turning your shades. Well, you're in my car, sir. Look what he's gonna put in his car. Show me the tag. So this is the newest product launch for uh, the Good Candle. This is the car diffuser, and it's really cool because they're natural wood beads, and the scent of the candles is actually on the beads and the tassels themselves. And this is Man Cave, so of course, the man is gonna put it in his car. Yeah. Where are you gonna put it? Are you gonna display it or are you gonna hide it? Heck yeah, I'm proud of it. <laughs> first things first. Did you guys see that? It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, you're looking too? You're gonna help? Oh yeah, you gotta rip the top part. There you, go. there you go. Smell it. You smell it. Oh, that smells good. It really diffuses, doesn't it? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right there. It looks pretty. I like them because they're super neutral. They're not very masculine. They're not pretty. They're not, you know, they're neutral. It's a very good, neutral, cute accent piece. That smells delish. We'll smell it in the morning. Oh, definitely. It's I gonna be like, woof. It's like... Nice. Now, where'd you do, look at this guy. I swear to goodness, Parker. We'll use it on my motorcycle. Litter bug. Litter bug. Here, look at your cute. Hey you guys, good morning, happy Sunday. Another day, another senior moment. All right, so the bed was promising. It all was pointing out in the right direction that it was gonna work out. However, you know, it's important that when you wanna sleep, you're actually able to sleep. Wesley was out of control last night, it was so funny because we made the bed and we're watching a movie, which I need to finish this morning because I fell asleep and um, the dogs were laying with us to do their meds, right? Wesley has six or seven drops he's on, the double has four pills. There's a ton of meds, so we have to set, we have to stagger timers, which is the alarms you keep hearing every time I vlog. And so it came time to finish their meds and go to bed, so we picked them up, we took them to the little cribs, and guess who starts freaking out? Wesley started to make sounds like he was gonna vom. So I told Parker, hey, while this movie finishes, I'm just gonna let him hang out with us. And then when it's over, I'll go put him in his crate. Long story short, both of us fell asleep. No one put him in his crate. 
but I'm a light sleeper, Parker's not. So I assumed Parker would feel if Wesley was up to no good. He didn't. He jumped off the bed or fell off the bed, I don't know. Um, and he was downstairs whimpering. So I got up, picked him up, I took him to his crate. He was there for maybe two minutes. He started rattling his crate, which he's never done before. He was like full on rattling his crate like a wild animal. So I took him out, took him to the potty, let him drink water, put him back. Same thing, same thing, same thing, four times. Finally, I just brought him to bed with us. So, uninterrupted sleep. Just kidding. <laughs> Fully interrupted sleep. <laughs> Parker is actually making a pork butt right now from Butcher Box. When we were placing our order last time, I asked him what he wanted and that we should try something new. So we got the ribs and we got a bunch of stuff. We got the typical stuff too, like the little uh, petite um, fillets and the hamburger patties. Y'all, my brain's gonna be fried today. So I'm gonna say, um, a lot. And he wanted a pork butt, bone-in pork butt. And I was like, guess, guess it? I don't know what that is. Do you know how to cook it? Cause I don't plan on cooking it. So yesterday he started to defrost it and right now he's doing what appears to be the same exact thing he did when he did the ribs, which was the standard yellow mustard. The standard yellow mustard, the smoke rub, pork rub and I'm sure he's gonna smoke it and then put it on the grill. So this is what, how come you didn't use this for the ribs? <clears throat> Echo stop. I use something different every time, it's just experimenting. So you don't have a preferred one? No. Okay, so this is what he used for the pork butt, I which is the, the <laughs> this is what he used for the pork butt. I've seen him buy this before. I'm not a fan of how this smells, so I never repurchase it, but it does taste good. It just stinks while you're using it. This is what he used for the ribs, and they were freaking phenomenal. So actually, you know what? Let's do a sniff test. Hold, please. I'm gonna get real low here, because this is how professional I am with my tripod use. Okay, this is the Weber brand, and this is what he used for ribs, and it was so good. Oh, it smells yummy. Sugar, salt, garlic, chili, paprika, spices. I don't like when they do that. Spices, what does that mean? Rice concentrate, to probably to thicken it, and red pepper. Mmm, okay. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Sugar, salt, paprika, spices, cumin, cayenne, oregano, mustard seed. This is gonna taste significantly different than this one. I'm very excited. We're about to taste the difference in pork. No, what I smell in this one is cumin. I don't like cumin. <gasps> a Mexican that says she doesn't like cumin. I like cumin, I don't like how cumin smells. Anybody else like that? Like there's a lot of things in this world that I like, I just don't like to smell them. And I smell everything, so it creates a problem for me. So yeah, this is, this one smells really strong like cumin. Oh, a lot of you guys commented in the rib video, you're like, how do you let Parker grab the containers with his dirty hands because he rubs the, um, the meat with like mustard and stuff and then he grabs the containers and, and does this, but he cleans them. He has a whole routine. Like at first, I was very triggered, but then one time I was like, you know what, just let it go. Just let it go. Let the man live his life. And so I did and he has a whole system. So it's fine, you guys, don't worry. <laughs> Call up the police. So, what was I telling you guys? Oh yeah, so you're gonna get to watch Parker do pork butt today. And the boys will be back today, so. Excuse me, I have to clean these containers. <laughs> Excuse me while I, while I sanitize. Um, oh, you know what, I have to give Wesley his drop. Hold on, or I'm gonna forget. Come here, bumper. Come here, come here, bumper. Oh, come here, bumpers. Let me see those long, athletic legs. Let me see those long, athletic, gazelle legs of yours. Oh, those are nice. You're, you're, you are so athletic, let me tell you. Let me tell you, you should be a supermodel. Mm-hmm. With those long, long, gorgeous, le you're like a, like a corgi. Yeah. The athletic build of a corgi. You guys, look, he has a system. Give the man a break. You know what I'm telling you guys all the time, like, give Parker a break. That's barbecue, man. You gotta, you gotta get a little messy. That's get a little dirty? The, part of the fun, you know? You gotta, you gotta sanitize. You gotta After sanitize. you try it, you pretty much forget that he leaves containers like this. Let me show you. I have evidence to submit to the court. But it's fine, because I never use this seasoning, so I don't ever have to touch it. So it's totally fine. All right, who didn't eat their breakfast? This is the pork butt. 
This is the coffee Parker made me. You know what's funny is the other day, he was busy in the morning and so he didn't make the coffees and I was morally offended. Like I realized I take his making my coffee in the morning for granted. I was like, I don't wanna do it, it's not my job. But I, I did it and it wasn't as good. Do you wanna see the pork butt again? You wanna see the pork butt again? Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Are you focusing on my pork butt? No, it or was the pork butt. It was in the same line of, sure of size. That's a lot of butt for a shot. <laughs> What's this? Your butt. <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> you guys. Sophia didn't finish her breakfast. As per usual, I have to show you something super gross. Not you or you. So, this um, air purifier has an app. And I finally downloaded it like very late in the game and it comes with two filters So this is the pre filter and then this is the the internal filter. It has a special name I don't know what it's called and I told Parker. I'm like hey when I got this air purifier it had an extra filter Should we see if it's time to replace it? So the app said it was it only had six percent left So this filter goes in here. This one goes on the top And so I was like hey, let's let's figure out how we can replace it. So this is the new one See how pretty it is? Look, it's all nice and felty and nice and cute. This is the one we pulled out. How gross is that? And when did we get this? In, it's been three months, right? It was right when we moved in. So it's every three months we got this happening in just our master bedroom. How gross is that? It's probably because the dogs are always in here. Well, right? it's, not, it's not dog hair, it's, filth? it's just filth. It's just, look, oh, it goes way down, look at that. Oh, it is full. And it said it still had 6%. Oh, I don't know about that. Isn't that creepy? But this one still looks really good. See, this is how you know that you've successfully become an adult is because this kind of stuff is exciting. You know, you're welcome, you guys. Parker and I are here to always bring you riveting content. He's doing this little startup thing. Oh, yeah. Did oh, you hear there that? It is. There it is. There it goes. Hey, what does it mean, like, when the, when the air purifier's on my side of the bed? <gasps> You're the dirtiest? Yeah. Mm. Hey, maybe these next three months we'll put on your side of the bed. Clean you up a little bit? <laughs> it doesn't work that way, guys. <laughs> you know, I know there's many, many channels that you guys can watch on YouTube, and there's, there's a lot more magnificent content creators that you guys can support, but if you want to really have scintillating, riveting, highly educational content, usually in the form of home projects, sick dogs, or air purifiers, or Alexa playing gangster rap, you can always count on me for, for that kind of stuff. That's what I'm here for, you know? So what I'm here for is to just always make sure you guys feel inspired to change the filters in your air purifiers. <laughs> Come here, do you want to go see some pork butt? Come on, let's go see some pork butt. Come on. Slaving over the green egg all day. She's rude. You know, you're supposed to let us go out first. What is this? What's going on out here? Are you being Frankenstein? This cannot be safe. It's a barbecue guru, man. Oh, that's literally what it's called. <laughs> You're a dork. <laughs> Why well, this makes it so much easier? <laughs> Show me. Why is it so not hot? Okay, well it's... Kitten test between 250 and 270 or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the dome, you know, the 250. The probe, the 270, so if you know your green egg, you know there's a temperature variant between the outside of the dome. If you look and you're not cooking, all right. That controls. This is the blower. It controls how much air goes into your <laughs> egg. You've got a temp probe for your meat, probe for your temperature. So, ladies, if you're looking for a Valentine's Day gift for your green, big GE owner. Oh, wow! Aren't we letting out all the heat? Yes. Okay, close it. Close it. State of emergency. Martin's like, uh, I don't, this does not look like emergent to me. Bumper. What are you doing, bumpers? Look at this big booty. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. She's so nosy. Look at her. 
She smells Could it. she burn herself? No. Oh, it's not. It's just kind of mildly warm. Bumpers. Oh, you said bumpers. Oh, you said bumpers. Oh, you said bumpers. <laughs> I was going to be like, hey, you guys, but I mean, <laughs> this is a lot more effective. Wait, wait, get in the sunlight. So you have like light on you. There you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the music's inside of him. All right, you guys, it's five o'clock. We're about to do the pulled pork experiment reveal, right? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Of course. Can I show people your little pirate tooth? Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right, look at that. It's bone in, so there's a big old bone in there. There's that big fat bone. <laughs> Don't open it. Are you opening it? I am. Why are you opening it? it looks Look, like the disapproval stance. It's supposed to rest for at least 30 minutes. Oh. Parker, you've been cooking all day. Okay. This always happens when he cooks. We eat at like nine. Ooh, I don't know what to No, 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 no. Is this gonna be? You don't open all the way down because then all the juice will leak out. Ah, I see juice. Yeah, see the juice? Ah, the juice is coming out. I don't know what this is. I think it's ribs. <laughs> yeah, it is ribs. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh, I, I'm getting. I'm approaching Where's no man's land. Where's the glove? The glove? The glove when you open it with the oven. Oh, goodness, this is the juice. It doesn't matter if it's juice. That's always a good thing. It's never a good thing if there's no juice. It's if there's no juice, we're in trouble. Oh, the juice is good. Look. Let me see that. No, 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 no. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Let me see that. The juice is good. There we go. Look at that. That's the bone. You see the Whoa. bone right there? Ooh, and that steam shot. Oh, look at the bone over here, too. Ooh, it keeps getting fall. What are you doing over there? If you ever eat ribs, do not eat the bone. Only eat the skin. Only the skin? <laughs> that looks really good, Parker. I want to have that no, black no. part. You want to eat the black part? Can yeah. you take a little piece off of it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Gently, because it's super hot. You're scared or it's hot? I'll get the super glove. Where's the super glove? A protection. Wow, oh, cool. It's good. Parker, he loved it. Is it good? <laughs> All right. He took this little nub off. Do you want to taste a little piece? No. Yes? Yeah, I'm scared. I'll Here. give it to you because it's hot. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you and Parker and your thumbs up for everything. <laughs> peace out. Thumbs <laughs> up or peace out. Which one? N neither. <laughs> something different. Fix something. It's spiders are out you again. What? Or else you'll get a million spiders in your house. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's not nice. Oh, look, Parker got um, bread, 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 bread. Hawaiian slider buns. So these are little rolls. These are Hawaiian hamburger buns, so they're a little bit bigger. And then he got um, <laughs> Hawaiian top sliced, like for hot dogs. So we're going with like a sweet theme. We got some uh, mustard, some sliced pickles. We're gonna cut up some onions. Look at this. Ooh, nice and juicy. Happy, we can't see. Peace. Oh, Dios. <laughs> it's super hot. You got a big head. <laughs> Guys, if you can see the bone. See the ears and these little pointy ears? Guys, if you see a bone, that's a bone. That's a skin bone. Oh, that's oh, a Oh, look at that. Guys, guess what that bone looks like? It's a pork butt. So that bone that you see is your little angel wing right here. <laughs> right there. My your little angel wing right there. <laughs> yeah, it's always So like your... when you say butt, like, uh, chuck or butt is this part. <laughs> and it's butt. so tough, so you have to cook it for hours and hours and hours and hours. Wait, butt <laughs> Every shot, are... there's little pointy ears. Why are your butt bones so, ooh, oh. nice and juicy? <laughs> that needs to be a, um, like a sound effect <laughs> that you can save. 
It's nice and juicy, guys. <laughs> and my face is not fit in a whole camera. Yeah, it doesn't. So you need to back it up a little. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you need to back it up a little. Whoa. Don't that, touch any of this, okay? It'll this, spill. That looks like apple juice or orange juice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it hot, Papa? No. Don't, 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 no, no. You guys are going to get all dirty now. Stop it. No, la, 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 la. Stop it. Hold on. Let me try. It looks like a brillo It's annoying, isn't it? Three, two, one, eat. No. No? It's, greatest, it's a very big show of appreciation. I another one. <laughs> I, like I think I want another one. That looks like a brillo It does. I feel like I want another piece. It tastes really good, too. I, I feel like I want another piece. Ask Parker to give you a little piece. Let me show you guys what I made over here. I'm actually going to write this in the description box because it's worth sharing. So coleslaw is something that not everybody likes. Coleslaw is something that is super tricky. A lot of people think it's too heavy, it's too creamy, it's too thick. It tastes like mayo, you don't like mayo. So I actually came up with this recipe on my adventure of trying to get people to eat coleslaw. I love cabbage and I will peel it off the head and just eat like layers of cabbage. I really like it, but it's hard to do a coleslaw that everyone likes. Like. The typical coleslaw, when I say that, you think KFC or Church's Chicken. So the coleslaw dressing that I like to make has white wine vinegar, sour cream, lemon juice, sriracha, sugar, salt, pepper, and honey. And so it turns into like a sweet and salty with just a tiny bit of kick coleslaw and it tastes good right away while it's crunchy and it also tastes good the next day once it breaks down the fibers of the coleslaw and it turns into like more of a soft slaw but it's really good to put on <laughs> you silly little thumb it's really good to put on things like barbecue because it cuts that sweetness and it brings in the tart and tanginess um, to it. And of course, if you like sriracha, you can always double, triple the amount and make it a spicy slaw. But look at that broken thumb. He has his mom's broken thumb, look at that. Peace out. I swear to goodness. I swear, I swear, you guys have been home for like five minutes and you've already done like 72 peace signs and thumbs up. Peace, peace. Stop! <laughs> Daniel, give me a sexy shot. 